What is up, you guys? I already got a head start. My father was giving me a hand. Uh, but I got the front end of this Crown Vic tore out, and we're going to drop it into that 80s bullnose Ford truck frame. So we're going to get the tractor. We're going to lift the car up, roll the front end out, and hopefully we're good. So. <laughs> So right, I know what you're thinking. How do we get to this point, right? So we're gonna walk back here and I'm gonna walk you through how this uh, K-member came out of this Crown Vic. It's super simple to get these K-members out. So there's a bolt here, bolt here. There's a big flange here that the bolts go through and there's three bolts in this back piece. And then there's a sway bar loop here and a sway bar loop here. Um, I cut the brake lines and pulled on the ABS sensors till they ripped out because I don't really care about them. But after that, you are going to come over here and it is important to keep your frame square. So that is why I went ahead and welded this pipe in here. I just tacked it in, as you guys can see. Nothing crazy, just quick tacks. Um, it's going to allow me to pick up the front end and cut all this out. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is start stripping all this stuff. So I'm going to start with the coils just because they're right here and they're loose. Whatever order you do it in, you just start somewhere and keep going. So I started at the coils, then I moved on to the steering box here. Um, so all of this, I'm going to try to keep it together in one piece. Um, the shock did come out of that side. I can try to get this one out. So there's that one out. Um, next we are going to probably just cut these brake lines because I doubt they're going to come off. Um, but we got to get that off. We'll take the proportioning valve off and then we're going to start cutting rivets. Oh, now we got to figure out how to get it out from under there. All right, so I just went ahead and torched it out. I do want to uh, make a video over it. But all you're going to do is torch it out. And um, from there, you can get either side of the rivets. You can leave this stuff in the frame. Um, you can do whatever. And this is definitely a project you could do in your garage. You could have cut this out with a grinder. Um, as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. But... It probably would have taken a little longer than it did with the torch. Um, and I'd be willing to bet that I buy a plasma cutter before this project is done because that could have been done in about five minutes. Instead, it took about 15. All right, so you guys already know we're gonna have to test fit this thing. Okay, so there is a alignment dowel on this front end one on both sides and from what i was reading they almost correctly line up with the holes these ones don't um it's no big deal i'm probably just gonna cut them off because it's literally gonna have big through bolts that go all the way through the frame and it'll connect right back into these factory holes so like this one i'm gonna have to do a little bit of boxing and building on it but um i will get it to where it mounts in this side will probably be all right if I leave this steering box piece in here. Um, I don't want to, but it's not the end of the world. Before I continue, I am going to um, buy some steel to plate the frame in on both sides. But in the meantime, I'm going to get it all cleaned up, get the rest of this stuff out of the front end that I don't need. So thanks for following along so far. Um, I wish I could have got a lot more done, but... Believe it or not, there's a lot accomplished today. There was a Crown Vic sitting back here. Uh, the front end was ripped out of that in about an hour. Um, I torched the rest of the stuff off, and now we are test fitted. Got a long ways to go, but I don't think it's gonna take, I don't think it's gonna take way too long by any means. So, fingers crossed, it's all gonna work out. 